Hi guys, welcome back to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. I'm Ken Tamplin, and today we're going to be discussing vibrato. What is vibrato? And there's a lot of controversy and a lot of uh, misinformation and um, a lot of dogma uh, in a lot of different of the uh, singing communities as to what people believe vibrato is. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I think vibrato is after 30 years of um, training and uh, studying with a lot of pretty amazing people. And um, as you've gone through my stages, my volumes, um, we've discussed some things called release valves. What are release valves? Well, uh, they start, you know, obviously with good support, uh, a well-placed note, um, and then vowel modifications that, that relieve tension in the throat or relieve tension in, uh, in the vocal folds. So, um, in this case, this is no different. Uh, in fact, um, there's a lot of, um, again, controversy, as, uh, especially even in the medical community, uh, as to what vibrato is good for. I'm going to tell you what it's good for, uh, and I, I know this for a fact because I know not only with my own voice, but for, from, from some very, very influential people uh, that have studied vibrato, especially in the bel canto community, and I want to talk about that in a minute because I disagree with them on some things, so I might ruffle some feathers here in a minute, but um, anyway, vibrato is a strongly supported, well-placed, clear-toned whole note that's been relaxed into a state of oscillation. What is oscillation and what is vibrato? And, and, and we'll, let's, we'll get into that in a minute. Now, there's lots of different kinds of vibrato. Uh, there are some that are healthy and some that are not so healthy and some that people just use for effect. So we're going to get into each uh, individually, uh, each one of those, and then we're going to actually practice uh, different things that uh, we can do to um, to build, to strengthen, to grow, if you're just getting started to actually learn vibrato. Now, uh, again, another thing that I, I disagree with um, in a lot of communities is that vibrato is something that can't be learned. Well, in part that's true. Um, it's not something that you go, oh, 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 you know, and practice uh, in that context. But just like every other part of your voice or, or, or every other part of the vocal mechanism and the and abdominal structure and whatnot, we practice everything we do. So to say that vibrato isn't something that can be learned is absolutely absurd. And I'm going to get into that more also in a minute. Um, there are people floating around out there, uh, lots of people actually, um, the well-known uh, vocal instructors, uh, people in the bel canto community and whatnot, that will tell you um, people like Whitney Houston, uh, her vibrato is, uh, was not good, it was called the gospel jog, we're going to get into that, and Stevie Wonder is not good, and Aretha Franklin isn't good. And, you know, you hear all these things of all these people that we love, uh, and for someone to say that their vibrato isn't correct, I want to talk a little bit about that, because um, I'd like to dispel some, some myths, some rumors, uh, and it's just some really not good information. So, uh, if you're ready, let's get started. Uh, again, this is Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, and this is, again, an addendum to already going through the course. So, you really need to get to the course, understand what good placement is, understand vowel modifications, understand release valves, for this to really have a maximum benefit for you. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Vibrato.